Florida, four points, nine rebounds, and 1.1 block shots per game. And Julie Wagner, a six foot two junior from Six decades. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are to serve you. If you need delivery, if you need curbside, number 12, Emily Corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60. Number 15, Georgia Adams. We believe serving our community. And number 24, Abby Shaw.
Wagner averages 4.7 rebounds per game on the other end. Trader misses a layup. Rebound is controlled by Southern Nazarene's Abby Giles. And then Kara Grace Prater crashed into her for the foul. The foul on Prater is her first. Team foul is one. Basketball belongs to Southern Nazarene. Free throw will bring it up. She is third in the league in assists, tied for eighth in three-point field goals made. Also third in the league in scoring. Top ten in rebounding as well is Lauren Reaper. She dribbles right into the painted area, goes to the basket, scoop shot up and good for Lauren Reaper. And the first two points of the shot are nationally fifth ranked Southern Nazarene. Maisa Marsal brings it up. Maisa had five points, seven rebounds, two assists, two steals. In the loss at East Central on Saturday, gives right wing for Prater. The jumper goes halfway down and spins back out for Cora Grace Prater. Defensive rebound for Lauren Reeper. Reeper feeds at the high post for Giddy. Giddy turns to face the basket, gets left side for Adams, three point to good. Georgia Adams, a career 37% shooter from beyond the arc. You cannot give her even an ounce of daylight out there. She knocks it down to make it 5 to nothing. Crimson Storm. Marsal passes left wing for Alex Hill. She collects the pass, dribbles right to the left elbow, gives it back to Julie Wagner. Wagner works on Monahan, goes up off the window, too strong. Defensive rebound by Giles, and Giles is fouled by Wagner. Julie's first is the team's second. And the basketball to Southern at Nazarene with seven minutes and 59 seconds to go in the third quarter. And the Crimson Storm is leading by five to nothing. Southern, Southern Nazarene averages 68 points per game, which is sixth in the league. They are highly efficient on the offensive end. Second in the conference in field goal percentage at over 43%. Fourth in the league in three-point field goal percentage at almost 34%. I predict that percentage will be going up. Now that Georgia Adams back in the active roster. Lob pass and team for Giddy, deflected by Wagner, stolen by Arkansas Tech's Dana Thompson. Now Prater into the front court. Seven minutes, 40 seconds to go first quarter. Southern Nazarene leading five to nothing. Drive by Alex Hill, collides with Giddy, loses the ball out of bounds. They say that the Crimson Storm touched it last. And the basketball will stay with Arkansas Tech with 18 to shoot. They're letting them bounce around back right there. Inbound pass will be made by Maisa Marsal. Marsal had seven points, nine rebounds, six assists last month against Southern Mass. Inbound to Hill. Alex misses the three. Offensive rebound, Prater. Out to Marsal. Three-pointer again rims out for Arkansas Tech. And the defensive rebound controlled by Emily Monahan. It's a two-on-one. Monahan all the way. Layup up and good for Emily Monahan. And a timeout taken by Arkansas Tech. Seven minutes and 16 seconds to play in the first quarter. Nationally fifth ranked Southern Nazarene seven, Arkansas Tech zero. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Arkansas Tech will keep it with 17 on the timer as Coach Dave Wilbers calls the inbound play from the sideline. It'll be Marsal to throw it in. 
Schrader flashes open on the left block, receives the bounce pass, puts it up, short, no good. Rebound, Southern Nazarene. Emily Monahan gathers the loose ball, and Arkansas Tech has missed its first seven attempts from the field. Meanwhile, Southern Nazarene has made three of its first four field goal attempts. Bounce pass to the left side for Giles. Giles, who has played for 25% of the GAC members. She began her career at Harding, and then played at Henderson State. Now she's at Southern Nazarene. They get it down low to Hannah Giddy. Lay up up in the third for Giddy, a career 53% shooter from the floor. And Giddy makes it 9 to nothing. Southern Nazarene. Bounce pass into the right corner for Dana Thompson. Thompson dribbles up to the wing. Stops there, surveys the defense, throws it from the corner for Marsall. Drive, spin move, off the window. Oh, Tech would no doubt need a big game from her tonight in order to hang with the fifth ranked Crimson Storm. It's 9 to 2 Southern Man. Georgia Adams drives, cut off on the baseline, throws it out to Giles. Giles dribbles left, gives to Giddy. Giddy from the right elbow, tries to back Wagner down. Wagner will not get grabbed. Pass out to Giles. Giles dribbles left, sees the same shot is blocked by Wagner, but Giles stays with it, gets her own rebound. And it's it is 11 to 2 Southern Nazarene. Marsall brings it up to the Golden Suns. Checked by Lauren Reaper, tries to get by her. Can't do it, goes left. Now she takes it to the basket, layup up, no good. Defensive rebound by Hannah Giddy. Giddy second in the conference, 17th in the nation in rebounding this year at 10 and a half per game. And for the third time in the first four and a half minutes, the Golden Suns commit a foul in the backboard. Now you the Nazarene defensive rebound. This time it's on Maisa Marsall, her first. Basketball belongs to Southern Nazarene. Arkansas Tech sets up some full court pressure. Georgia Adams pass. He is too far in front of Lauren Ruther. It's out of bounds off of the Crimson Storm. Basketball will belong to Arkansas Tech. Took him by surprise there with that pressure. It's Alex Hill to throw it in for Arkansas Tech. It's Southern Nazarene leading 11 to two. Golden Suns one out of nine from the floor so far. No turnover. Marsall drives, spins, and as she went up, a whistle and a foul committed by Southern Nazarene. They will award two free throws. A foul on Lauren Reaper of Southern Nazarene is her first. Two foul number one. And Maisa Marsall to the free throw line, where so far this season she is 9 of 21, 43%. First one is up on nothing but net for Marsall. Maisa struggling a little bit with her shot coming in. She was 2 of 15 from the field in the road trip to Oklahoma last week. She makes <laughs> It's 11 to four, Southern Nazarene. Crimson Storm beats the press. Now Giddy has it across the timeline. Passes to Georgia Adams at the top. He Adams harassed by Alex Hill. Now pass out of trouble to Lauren Reaper. Reaper sets it up, gives to Giddy at the high post. Giddy faces the basket, gives it back out to Reaper. Reaper thought about it for three, instead she drives, bowls over my and my son. Foul on Marsal, it's her second. It is team foul number four. Lauren Reether was just full speed downhill, ran directly into Marsal's chest, sent her stumbling backwards over the baseline. And they called Marsal the foul. Maisa was very much in a legal guarding position. Feeding the low burst for Hannah Giddy. Double team. Tries to dribble away from it, throws it out front to Reether. Hill goes for the steal, doesn't get it, it'll lead to a wide open three in the corner for Giles, and she hits it. Abby Giles, a 2% shooter from beyond the arc, makes it 14 to four Southern Nazarene. Crimson Storm is six of eight from the field, including two out of two from three point range. Player of Grace Prater, defended by Abby Giles, 17 to shoot, gives him the left wing for Hill. Alex wants to drive, cut off by Monahan. Tries again, not there, gives to Wagner. Out to Prater. Wagner sets a pick, Prater shoots and misses from the left wing. Rebound is off Giddy's fingertips, out of bounds. Nice contest there by Dana Thompson to allow Arkansas Tech to maintain possession with 20 on the shot clock. Went straight up, trying to get that rebound. Four minutes and 12 seconds left in the first quarter. Southern Nazarene leading 14 to four. Inbound for Alex Hill. She steps back for three. It is no good from the top of the key. Defensive rebound by Hannah Giddy. And here comes Southern Nazarene into the front court. Lauren Reether goes to the right wing. Crimson Storm looking for their 35th consecutive regular season win. Reether drags the pivot for it. Southern Nazarene commits its third turnover. Northern Suns make two changes. Number 10, Jackie Rock. And the first check out. 
They were replaced by Jackie Rollins, 5'10", sophomore guard, Mustang, Oklahoma, 3.4 points, one and a half rebounds per game. And Haley Wyrick, 5'8", sophomore guard, Piercy, 8.4 points, 2.1 rebounds. Rollins for three, off to the left, no good. Defensive rebound by Emily Monahan of Southern Nazarene. Left wing, Reetha, gives it in the low post for Giddy. Defended by Wright. Backs her down, steps through off the window, no good. Defensive rebound by Jackie Rollins of Arkansas Tech. Into the front court come the Golden Suns. Hill wants to drive on the right side of the paint, rejected by Hannah Giddy. And a defensive rebound by Giddy as well. As Hannah Giddy gets career block shot number 174. And the Crimson Storm back to work offensively. Hand off to Reetha at the top of the key. He goes left, defended by Jackie Rollins. Giddy sets the pick, Reaper drives, layup no good, defensive rebound, Julie Wagner of Arkansas Tech. Julie's second rebound of the night, the Golden Suns take it the other way, trying to snap a string of five consecutive missed field goal attempts. The Suns are one of 13 from the field thus far. Fadeaway jumper, Dana Thompson, too strong, defensive rebound by Hannah Giddy. Reaper will bring it up for the Crimson Storm. 2.39 to go in the first. Southern Nazarene with the ball and a 14 to 4 lead. Georgia Adams slices through the lane. Pass goes out right for Monahan. Out of the right wing for Reether. Reether guarded by Rollins. Giddy sets a pick. Reether goes left. Lost the handle. Stolen by Jackie Rollins. Turnover number four for the Crimson Storm. Ahead to Wyrick. Wyrick has it stripped away by Georgia Adams. And now it's a 3 on 2 for Southern Nazarene. Giles to Giddy. Layup good. 16 to 4 for Southern Nazarene. Up on two minutes to play in this first quarter. Jackie Rollins goes to the right side, gets a pick from Wagner, dribbles left, feeds it into the post for Dana Thompson. Thompson backs Giddy down, turnaround jumper, short, no good, defensive rebound, Giddy, as the Golden Suns have missed 14 of their first 15 attempts from the field. 7%. Reether sets it up for Southern Nazareth. Elena Lee and Shelly Butler will check in for the Suns in the next dead ball. And it's right side for Giles. Out to Georgia Adams. She lobs the right elbow for Giddy. Giddy defended by Wagner. Dribbles to the opposite side of the paint. Now spins. Gets Wagner off balance and lays it in. 18 to 4 Southern Nazareth. The Crimson Storm has scored the last seven points unanswered. And Alex Hill brings it up for Arkansas Tech. Alex had a good road trip last week. She matched her career high with 24 points at East Central on Saturday. A week ago, she had 15 points, all of them in the second half, in the game at Southeastern Oklahoma State. Feed down low for Dana Thompson, turnaround jumper, no good, but a whistle and a foul on Hannah Giddy. Giddy's first, team foul number two, and it'll be two free throws for Dana Thompson, who is a career 51% free throw shooter. Jimmy Wagner will check out the Golden Suns, replaced by Elena Lehoe, a 6'5 sophomore center from Spain and a transfer from Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Leho averaging 1.3 points and 1.4 rebounds per game. Dana Thompson to the line. First shot up and good. Dana in for Southern Nazarene is Carly Gassaway, 5'7", sophomore guard, Choctaw, Oklahoma, 3.8 points, 1.9 rebounds per game. Thompson's second free throw is also good. As Dana gets very close to it, two seconds left in the first quarter. It cuts the Southern Nazarene lead at 18-6. The Crimson Storm 8 of 12 from the field in this first quarter, including two out of two from three-point range. Giddy has six points, and Reether has four to lead the way for the Crimson Storm. Giddy makes a catch in the right wing, hands it right back to Reether. Reether defended by Jackie Rollins, out to Gasaway. Gasaway lobs back to the left elbow for Giddy. Giddy passes in the corner for Monahan. Three-pointer is short, defensive rebound. Alex Hill of Arkansas Tech. Sons the other way. Lob pass ahead of the pack intended for Shelly Butler. She almost lost it, able to save it into Wyrick. Now the Golden Suns will get into a half-court set. Wyrick harassed by Gasaway, beats it for Butler. Butler out to Leho, 17-foot jumper is no good. Wyrick a put back try, no good. Rebound Southern Nazarene. Lauren Reether clears the miss. You heard me mention Shelly Butler. She checked in a moment ago in place of Dana Thompson. Butler is a six-foot junior forward from Nassau, Bahamas. Layup up and good for Reether. Reether has six first quarter points. Southern Nazarene leads 26. And 
that's how the first quarter will come to an end. From the Olathe's Realty broadcast position, we step aside for the first inning. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Storm leads it 31 to 9. 
with 7.38 to go in the second quarter. And Coach Dave Wilbers of Arkansas Tech calls timeout from the Alethus Realty broadcast position. It's a one-minute break. This is going to be so on the DAB Sports Network. seconds to go in the second quarter. Southern at Nazarene, 31, Arkansas Tech, 9. Maisa Marsal with the basketball, gives it out front to Alex Hill. Hill gets a pick from Wagner, drives the left side of the lane, shot rejected by Hannah Giddy. Hill gets her own rebound, tries to pull her way back to the basket, and when she does, a blocking foul is called on Southern at Nazarene. Emily Monahan's first foul. Team fouls have won this quarter on the Crimson Storm. The Golden Suns will throw it in from the baseline with 20 on the shot clock. Marsal inbound pass for Dana Thompson. Thompson backs Giddy down, turnaround jumper, partially blocked by Giddy and rebounded by Hannah Giddy, who, if she is not the GAC Player of the Year this year, I do not know who is. She just thoroughly controls the game on both ends of the court. Giddy with it on the right side, gives it up to Reed. Left side for John, back to Reed. That's Giddy at the high post. Left elbow, passes off the gas away. On the lead, on the Giles. Open look at three, not there this time. And on the rebound, the whistle for foul against Arkansas Tech. They say that Clara Grace Prater pushed from behind in the effort to get that rebound. It is Prater's second. It is team foul number two this quarter on Arkansas Tech. And Southern Nazarene put in from the baseline. Inbound pass, Reether to Monahan, right back to Reether. Now Giddy at the right elbow. She looks the back, Wagner down, spin move, lay it up and good for Hannah Giddy. Giddy bucket makes it 33 to nine. And into the front court come the Golden Suns, down by 24. Pass for Prater, cutting down the right side of the lane, receives it, fadeaway jumper, no good. Dana Thompson gets the offensive rebound, put back try, won't go. Defensive rebound by Hannah Giddy of Southern Nazarene. And Arkansas Tech with those misses is now two of 23 from the field. Reether, hand off top to Keeper Monahan. Now Gassaway gives to Giddy. Giddy passes out left side. Arkansas Tech is on zone defensively. Reether with it on the left side. They lob it for Giddy, poked away for a moment by Wagner, but saved for Southern Nazarene by Gassaway after Monahan put the lead. No good. Offensive rebound, Abby Giles. Giles out to Monahan. They swing it left side for Reether. Ball fake, and they call her for travel. Turnover Southern Nazarene is its fifth, I think. Now the official is pointing in an odd way. What about the shot clock? Not exactly sure what's going to happen here. Coach Dave Wilbers is also perplexed because he thought they had a traveling violation, as did I. But instead, they say that it was a shot clock situation is the reason the whistle blew. So no turnover for Southern Nazarene after all. And the Crimson Storm will get to keep it with 17 on the shot clock. Inbound for Reether. Reether passes in the corner for Gasaway. Log for Giddy. Skip pass right side Monahan. She leads it to Reether at the top of the field. Giddy to Giddy. Giddy dumps it in for Georgia Clay. Reflecting the lane stolen by Arkansas Tech. Into the front court comes Alex Hill. Hill drives, spins. Defended by Reether, leans in, pass is deflected by Gassaway. Prater able to save it for Arkansas Tech. Prater gets to the right elbow, throws it out to Hill for three. It's no good. And the rebound is out of bounds to Southern Nazarene. 
free throw will bring it up the Crimson Storm with Southern Nazarene leading 33 to nine with five minutes and 17 seconds to go in the second quarter. Hand off right side for Monahan. Monahan appearing in her 113th game for Southern Nazarene tonight. Out front it goes to Gassaway. Gassaway gives to Giddy at the high post. She's a transfer from Oral Roberts. Out to Gassaway for three, no good. Defensive rebound, Alex Hill, and they fouled her. I believe they've got Hannah Giddy. They do, and that's two on Giddy. And that will lead to a change for Southern at Nazarene as Shannon Burton will check in. Burton, a five foot 10 sophomore guard from Maitland, Australia. Burton averaging 2.2 points, 1.4 rebounds. Did not play at all against Henderson State on Saturday. She's in the game here with Hannah Giddy with two fouls. Marsal tries a three, it is short. Defensive rebound by Burton. And the 33 to nine Southern Nazarene lead remains intact as Arkansas Tech has missed seven consecutive field goal tries. And the Suns are two out of 25 from the floor. Pass out front for Monahan. left-handed dribble drive, lost the handle, out of bounds, last touched by Arkansas Tech. And the Crimson Storm will throw it in from the baseline with 13 on the shot clock. Yeah, if anybody's counting, they have five players from Australia. It'll be Reether to throw it in. Reether averaging 17.2 points per game this year after she averaged just 5.8 points per game a year ago. Gets it in to Georgia Adams. Adams goes to the basket, lays it up and in. Five points for Adams. Four minutes, 20 seconds to go until halftime, which will be a welcome respite for the Golden Suns. They trail 35 to nine. Prater penetrates, 12 foot jumper is short. Defensive rebound, Gassaway. And it'll be Reether to bring it up for Southern Naz. Reether began her career at Fort Hayes State University, played there for two years, now in her third year with Southern Nazarene. Out left for Gassaway, Gassaway's pass across, saved by Reether. Now it's Burton, Burton penetrates, shot blocked and rebounded by Julie Wagner. Outlet pass from Alex Hill to Maisa Marsal. Marsal to the basket, layup up and good for Maisa Marsal. She's got six points, three minutes and 40 seconds to go in the first half. And it's 35 to 11, Southern at Nazarene. The nationally fifth ranked Crimson Storm go back to work offensively. Two, three zone defense for Arkansas Tech. Gassaway lob at the high post for Georgia Adams. Back out to Gassaway. Marsal comes out on her, Gassaway drives. Got it poked away, saved it. Now it goes to Adams. Georgia Adams dribbles into a double team. Three to shoot, out to Monahan. She'll have to force up a three and it goes in. Monahan's first three pointer of the night. The Crimson Storm is five out of nine from downtown, and Coach Dave Wilbers will be compelled to call his third timeout of the first half. Three minutes and four seconds remaining in the second quarter. Southern Nazarene 38, Arkansas Tech 11. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Golden Suns Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Miller Roofing Company, a family-owned company treating you like family. Who's a part of the Miller family of employees? Shannon Yarborough loves her work with residential customers. I work with all the residential customers. I organize and schedule their roofs. I love logistics, problem solving. I love the atmosphere about working at Miller Roofing Company. It's a great company. And I love, love, love working with people. Your friends at Miller Roofing. See them on South Arkansas and Russellville and follow them on Facebook. If you're on our place, it's a new day with Kenwood Russellville. What better way to start than with a brand new Chevrolet or GMC vehicle? Our in-stock inventory is filled with cars, trucks, and SUVs. Ready to hit the road with you. Buying a vehicle should be an exciting experience, free from any hassle or pressure. With our selection and our team, we ensure that you'll find the perfect ride that matches your style, needs, and budget. Starting new day, new ride out of Exit 84, just off I-40, Russell. Maisa Marsal, Julie Wagner, Dana Thompson, Clara Grace Prater report for the Golden Suns, along with a new face, Jordan Rollins, a six foot one freshman forward from Mustang, Oklahoma, sister of Jackie Rollins, who's already appeared in the game tonight. Jordan averaging 1.8 points, 0.8 rebounds, bounce pass deflected by Gassaway, stolen by Monahan. Monahan into the front court, had it poked away out of bounds, and Southern Nazarene will throw it in from the baseline with two minutes and 52 seconds to go in the second quarter. 
and Southern Nazarene leading 38 to 11. Stay with us coming up at approximately 7.30 p.m. tonight. It'll be the Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys tied for first place in the GAC men's basketball standings with eight games remaining in the regular season. And the Wonder Boys will look to avenge one of their three conference losses. They fell by one point at Southern Nazarene last month. Three-point try by Reether, no good. And a pushing foul on the Crimson Storm on the rebound as it was Shannon Burton with the push, her first personal foul. Team foul number three. And the basketball belongs to the Golden Suns. Gassaway is out. Giles is back in for Southern Nazarene. So it's Abby Giles, Lauren Reether, Shannon Burton, Georgia Adams, and Emily Monahan for Southern Naz. Left side, Prater. Dribbles right, got a pick from Marsal into the lane, spin move, shot up from eight feet, no good. Rebound loose on the far side of the floor. It's gonna go out of bounds, but first a whistle and a foul. They've got Clara Grace for a push. That's her third foul. Prater with three. She will sit for the remainder of the half with 2.24 left in the second quarter. And the basketball belongs to Southern Nazarene. Crimson Storm in control of this one, 38 to 11. Southern Nazarene, 16 of 27 from the field, 59%. Arkansas Tech, 3 of 28, 11%. Top of the key, Georgia Adams. Picks up her dribble, gives right side to Monahan. Shot clock at 14. Monahan drives, bounce pass for Burton. Spin move, gets her defender in the air, layup up and good for Shannon Burton. Burton's first bucket of the night. She averages 2.2 points per game, did not play in the first meeting between these two programs this season. And it is 40 to 11, Southern Nazarene. Marsal steps back for three, no good. On the rebound, a whistle and a foul on Southern Nazarene. They've got Shannon Burton again, that's her second. And it'll be the Golden Suns basketball from the baseline with 20 on the shot clock. Inbound pass will be made by Maisa Marsal. Kansas Jayhawk Community Conference co-player of the year two years ago was Maisa Marsal. On the inbound play, a whistle and a pushing foul against Jordan Rollins of Arkansas Tech. It is her first personal foul. Team foul number four. Into the game for Southern Nazarene is Anna Kakoli. Kakoli is a six foot one junior center from Italy averaging half a point and half a rebound this year. Pass to the right side for Georgia Adams. Adams dribbles left, gets into the painted area, 12 feet away, stops, throws it out to Kakoli. Now it's Adams, Adams dribbles right, cut off by Wyrick and Wagner, fires it back out to the perimeter for Giles. Giles finds Monahan on the right side. Monahan drives and dishes for Reether. Three-pointer is off to the right and out of bounds to Arkansas Tech with one minute and 17 seconds remaining in the second quarter, Southern Nazarene on a 14 to two run, leading 40 to 11. Very unusual to look up very, at that scoreboard very. and see the Golden Suns in this kind of predicament. Drive by Marsal, able to save it to Thompson. 17 foot jumper, no good from the left baseline. Offensive rebound, Wagner put back up and good for Julie Wagner as we go under a minute to play until halftime. And it is 40 to 13 Southern Nazarene on Julie Wagner's first two points of the night. Right side, Kakoli hands it off to Reether. Reether drives, draws a double team, bounce pass out of it to Giles. Giles goes left into the paint, stops 12 feet away, and three seconds from the lane is called against Abby Giles. Southern Nazarene with its sixth turnover. And Maisa Marsal will bring it up for the Golden Suns. Marsal, Jordan Rollins, Haley Wyrick, Julie Wagner, and Dana Thompson are the five on the floor. Marsal bounce pass at the high post for Wagner, right back to Maisa. 20 to shoot, Marsal drives, the runner in the lane is good. Maisa Marsal with eight first half points. The Golden Suns have scored the last four. And now Southern Nazarene can hold for the final shot of the half. Lauren Reether over the timeline. Gives it up out front for Georgia Adams. Eight seconds left in the half. Pass to Kakoli at the high post. She hands it back to Adams. Adams drives, ball fake, throws it out to the perimeter. Now right side for Giles. Giles at the buzzer, misses the three, and our score at halftime is nationally fifth ranked Southern Nazarene 40 and Arkansas Tech 15.
from the Alathus Realty broadcast position. We will step aside for one minute and then come back for a visit with Mark Downey, head coach of the Wonder Boys. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball on the EAV Sports Network. The real deal wood smoke barbecue over at Ridgewood Brothers. As we are in a new year, new hours are Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to 3 for lunch and 4 to 8 for dinner or until they sell out. New hours at Ridgewood Brothers, Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to 3 for lunch and 4 to 8 for dinner or until they sell out. 803 West Main Place in Russellville, right behind Newton's Pharmacy or place your order right there on their Facebook page. The real deal, true blue, wood smoke barbecue, Ridgewood Brothers. Why trust River Valley Tinting and Glass? Well, River Valley Tinting and Glass is a family-owned business, and they take care of their customers like family, too. So remember, your local auto, residential, and commercial glass and tinting company, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Check out their work on Facebook or call 890-5839 to get an estimate. Or you can always come by 2202 East 2nd Street to see all they can do for you. From a business you can trust, River Valley Tinting and Glass. Halftime of the women's game at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville, and we have the privilege of visiting with Mark Downey, the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech. And coach, we've visited about it a little bit, but you made a, a little bit of an adjustment, actually a pretty big adjustment a few games ago, putting Cade Schaefer on the basketball more and putting Cassius Brooks more at the at the off guard spot. And the numbers indicate that's really working out. Cade Schaefer with 41 assists and just nine turnovers over his last five games. Meanwhile, Cassius Brooks averaging 16.8 points per game over his last four, and more importantly, shooting. 63% from the field over that span. Those two guys seem to really be settling into those roles. Yeah, when we lost BJ, um, we needed to make a change, and I brought both those guys in and just kind of asked them, you know, who, who's more comfortable where? And um, Cash said, I'm, I'm more comfortable off the ball, and, you know, Cade's more comfortable playing on the ball and wants to play more, and um, so we just kind of left it up to them, and it's really worked out. So. Um, you know, losing BJ hurts us, it just kills our depth, it just, you know, it, it really does hurt, but, um, you know, you put Kate and, and Cassius in there, you get a little more offense probably, but, uh, it, you know, kills our depth, it kills us on the defensive end, and BJ just says so many positive things for us. Uh, I hate to not have him, but a uh, good thing about it is we'll have, we'll have BJ around for another year. Absolutely. This Southern Nazarene team, we've talked about it all year. It seems like every time somebody does, comes up on the schedule, they're on a roll, and that's certainly the case with the Crimson Storm. They've won three of their last four, and their only loss during that time was an overtime setback against Southeastern Oklahoma State. And Southern Nazarene has been really efficient lately offensively, shooting 50% from the field over their last four, and they've had 27 assists and just 13 turnovers in their last two games. What do you see that is working so well right now for Southern Nazarene offensively? Man, they just put the ball in the hands of the right guys. They're a little bit different. They're, you know, Zetchich, they're, they're combo guard. He plays a little on the ball, a little off the ball. They post him up, and they play off of him. Um, they got some guys that can shoot it. They're big guys, you know, know their roles, and, and they're really good around the basket and give them second chances, and uh, they are. They're just really efficient. It, you watch them on tape, and you, it's scary. Um, they're really good offensively. So we've got to guard them, and then we've got to make them guard us. There's no doubt about it. Matchups a lot of time end up di uh, dictating playing time as much as anything. The way East Central played, it was really tough to have either one of your fives out there, Sean Cobb or Josh Mitchell. Yeah. Tonight with Giannis Visser leading the conference in field goal percentage and averaging 15 and a half points per game over his last four, you're going to need Josh and Sean to be in there and trying to guard Visser tonight, aren't you? Yeah, and again, he, you know, would you say that Visser is one of the better post players in the league? I, I wouldn't probably say that, but he feeds off Zetchitz. And Zetchitz gets some easy baskets, and people try to help off him to help on Zetchitz uh, posting up, and that's where he makes you pay. He's just really good around the basket. Uh, he's long, so if he misses a shot, he, he gets his own rebound a lot of times, and um, he's, he's just another really efficient player, but that comes from uh, Zetchitz, number one. Well, folks have got about an hour and 15 minutes to get here, and already a good crowd funneling into Tucker Coliseum, and we know that there are more on the way. If you are out there right now and thinking about coming and joining us, I'm telling you right now, this group needs and deserves your support. This is the first time the Wonder Boys have been 15 and five or better after 20 games in seven years. And the one, last time the Wonder Boys started with that kind of record, they went to the NCAA tournament. I know that's the goal again this year, but this group coach, they need and deserve the support of the student body and the community.
community here tonight. Yeah, for sure. I, I hope that it continues to fill up, um, trying to get back to those glory days, and that's what we're building towards. And uh, like you said, it's a good crowd so far, but we need a lot more people in here because there's a lot of empty seats up there. So come over and see us. It's, you know, like you said, you got an hour and a half to get here, and uh, it's going to be a good basketball game, and be, you'll enjoy watching this group play. Go to ArkansasTechSports.com slash tickets to get your seat. Coach, thanks for the visit. Good luck tonight. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate it. That is Mark Downey, the head men's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech University. We will step aside for three minutes and then come back with a look at the numbers. Southern Nazarene leads the women's game 40-15 to 15 at halftime. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Maybe you're moving some dirt around the house, got jobs to do, things you need to get finished, and equipment to move. Well, maybe you don't have what you need. River Valley Tractor has it, and they have great prices and great people. Family owned and operated, go by today and see the family at River Valley Tractor. Robert and all the staff are there to take great care of you. From the sales department, the parts, service, all over, you can count on River Valley Tractor. 702 Weir Road in Russellville, River Valley Tractor. Don't call it quits yet. R&R Tire Express will have you back in love with your ride with a sweetheart deal on that's right we'll have your car truck or suv looking like a million bucks with r and r sweetheart package get an 18 inch wheel and tire package starting at just 40 dollars a week or a 20 inch off-road wheel and tire package starting at 21.99 r and r on east parkway drive next to starbucks in russellville for a quick quote now text tires to 43414 Get the game day snacks ready. It's the best time of year for inviting friends over to watch your favorite teams. That's right, Stephanie. And at Sofa City, we have the best seats in the house. Our showroom is stocked with quality recliners, reclining sofas, and reclining sectionals, most made here in the USA. Our prices are already discounted, and we carry a huge variety to fit every style and budget. And I'm always hearing stories of your great hometown service and easy financing options. And remember, there's no waiting at Sofa City, where you can buy it today and enjoy it tonight. Hi, this is Mike Giro with Giro & Associates, Medicare Specialist of Arkansas, here to remind you of the importance of doing an insurance review. Things change over the course of time and can affect your current benefits. It's important to make sure you have proper coverage. Give us a call today at 479-857-2810 for a free review of your life, health, or Medicare coverage. Giro & Associates, Medicare Specialist of Arkansas, 479-857-2810, 479-857-2810. Johnny, story in for Olathis Realty Russellville with an important question for you. How do you get top dollar when you're ready to sell your home? Well, I'd suggest trusting the professionals. You know, at Olathis Realty, they really are a seller's best friend because they have years of experience, knowledge, and they have a network of relationships that ensure that you get the most for your home. A latest Realty Russellville, 968-5668. Mr. Break and Lube wants you to know when it comes to your engine, not all motor oils are created equal. That's why they only offer name brand motor oils that you can trust, like Pinzol, Castrol, Mobile One, and more. So don't pay top dollar for cheap generics. And if you're looking for work, Mr. Break and Lube is hiring with all training provided and competitive pay. So call 219-5438 or visit 1415 East Main Street. Mr. Break and Lube, your one-stop maintenance shop. Mr. Break and Lube is an equal opportunity employer. Nationally fifth-ranked Southern Nazarene 40, Arkansas Tech 15 at halftime of our women's game. Southern Naz is 17 of 30, 57% from the field, 5 of 12, 42% from three points, and the Crimson Storm has made its only free throw attempt. Arkansas Tech, 5 of 32, 16% from the field, 1 of 8 from three-point range, and the Golden Suns have made all four of their free throws. Southern Nazarene out-rebounding Arkansas Tech, 23 to 17. The Crimson Storm with seven assists and six turnovers. Arkansas Tech with one assist and five turnovers. Southern Nazarene has a 22 to 8 edge in points in the paint. Individual leaders, first for Southern Nazarene, Hannah Giddy with 10 points, seven rebounds, three assists, and two blocked shots. Lauren Reether has nine points, as does Abby Giles. Five points apiece for Emily Monahan and Georgia Adams, and two points for Shannon Burton. For Arkansas Tech, Maisa Marsal leads the way with eight points. 
Clara Grace Prater has three and two points apiece for Julie Wagner and Dana Thompson. Wagner has seven rebounds for Arkansas Tech and Kelly has a look at the GAC women's basketball scoreboard. All your other halftime scores over in Searcy. It is Oklahoma Baptist 29, Harding 27. It is Henderson State 40, Northwest Oklahoma 32, Washita 30, Southwest Oklahoma 24, Southern Arkansas 34, East Central 27, and Southeast Oklahoma one point better than UA Monticello. 25-24 coming into tonight's game. You had Southern Nazarene at 14-0, and they will be playing Harding on Saturday. They come in at 13-1. Both of those teams have already punched their ticket to the GAC tournament, and that's followed by Northwest Oklahoma at 11-3, Henderson State and Southwest Oklahoma at 9-5, and, and they are playing uh, you know, very tough right now, Henderson State and, uh, you know, Southwest Oklahoma is trailing, so Henderson could take advantage of that tonight. At 6-8 and eight is Arkansas Tech and Oklahoma Baptist, and they will play each other on Saturday. Washita 5-9, and nine, Southern Arkansas 4-10, Southeast Oklahoma 3-11, and at 2-12, and 12, East Central and UA Monticello. Here at Tucker Coliseum, it is nationally fifth ranked Southern Nazarene 40 and Arkansas Tech 15. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for three minutes and then come back with the second half. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. If you pay for your own health insurance or you're looking for coverage, do not go online for quotes. You'll get endless calls from call centers and they will not stop. Instead, call Becky, the health plan lady. She can provide sound advice for your health insurance needs. Her freedom of choice plans lets you pick your doctors. No deductibles, no copays, and it's 30 to 60% lower cost than Obamacare. Call Becky at 479-886-2475 or go to health plan lady. Com. ABC Children's Academy is currently enrolling with 14 locations in Pope, Johnson, and Yale County. ABC provides all-day child care, as well as a variety of enrollment options for families, including Arkansas Better Chance for ages 3 to 5, plus more. Visit abcchildrensacademy.com for more info, and come by their central office on 4th Street in Russellville to apply in person, or call 567-5650. ABC Children's Academy, changing our world one student at a time. Well, the folks at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air want to take just a moment to not only thank you for your business, but also the opportunity to work for you and give your family old house comfort. You know, every kind word you put online, those personal recommendations to your friends and family are appreciated. Customers like you are not only vital to the business of Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air, but vital to making our community as great as it is. Special thanks from the folks at Arkansas River Valley Heating and Air. When it comes to buying or selling a home, there really is a better way. As soon as you start talking with our team at A Better Way Realty in Russellville, you're going to feel the difference. Imagine if you had a great friend in the real estate industry, someone who genuinely cared about you and your family and was passionate about taking care of you. That is the philosophy of everyone who works here at A Better Way Realty. We want your business because we earn it, period. Discover what experience and heart can do with A Better Way Realty. Find us on Facebook and see the difference. A better way realty. Real estate done a better way. Arkansas, tire and auto service. We're more than just tires. Consistent, responsive, honest and fair. What makes us different? We're the ones who care. Trust God is feeling. Know what you need. Let your knowledge last. See what we mean. Arkansas, tire and auto service. We're more than just tires. Arkansas Tire and Auto Service, 2304 East Main, Russellville. Farmers Co-op located in Russellville. Don't forget their gamble location. Mike Apples along. Mike, it is that time of year when feed is very, very important. It sure is. And uh, make sure that uh, you've got your animal needs taken care of, uh, protein levels met, and all those things that you, that you look for uh, when it comes this time of year. Farmers Co-op, we're located on East Main. Russell, don't forget their damn location. 
We head to the third quarter at Tucker Coliseum in Russellville with Southern Nazarene leading our women's game by a score of 40 to 15. Hannah Giddy, Georgia Adams, Emily Monahan, Lauren Reether, and Abby Giles, the starting five, report for Southern Nazarene. And shortly the Golden Suns will come onto the floor. And we'll get this third quarter underway. Reminder to stay with us coming up at approximately 7.30 p.m. It'll be the Arkansas Tech men trying to maintain at least a share of first place in the GAC men's basketball standings. If you'd like to come out and support the Wonder Boys, still plenty of time to get to Tucker Coliseum. Go to ArkansasTechSports.com slash tickets to get your seat. Just $5 for adults and $3 for children and senior citizens. Alex Hill gets the inbound pass, cross court to Clara Grace Prater. It's Prater, Maisa Marsal, Alex Hill, Julie Wagner, and Dana Thompson to begin the second half for Arkansas Tech. Prater down the right baseline, cut off by Giles, throws it out to Marsal. Marsal dumps it in for Thompson. Thompson works on Giddy, shoots over her, no good. Julie Wagner gets the offensive rebound, throws it out to Marsal. Maisa tries a three, it is no good. Alex Hill gets the offensive rebound, goes back to the basket, scoop shot is short, no good. Defensive rebound, Georgia Adams. And that's pretty well been the story of the night for the Golden Suns. They've had a very difficult time getting the yeah. ball in the basket. Having a hard go of it. Feed down low for Reether, layup up and good. Reether off the feed from Hannah Giddy scores. Reether has 11 points. It is the 17th time this year that Reether has reached double figures in scoring. And it is 42 to 15 Southern Nazarene. 9.07 left in the third. Feed for Marsal, spin move, layup no good. Dana Thompson with the follow. Dana Thompson tips it in for her first field goal of the night. Dana has four points in all, eight minutes and 53 seconds to go in the third, and it's 42-17 Southern Nazarene. Monahan out front for Reether. Reether guarded by Marsal. Shot clock at 14. Giddy sets the pick. Reether goes left, lobs it into the post for Giddy. Giddy draws four defenders, throws it out to the wide open Reether, three-pointer, rims out, no good. Defensive rebound by Clara Grace Prater of Arkansas Tech. It's two on four, Clara Grace goes in anyway, has it stripped loose, and Arkansas Tech will keep it with 25 on the shot clock. Marsal will make the inbound pass. Looking, gets it right side for Prater. Clara Grace, one dribble, a 10-footer, no good from the right baseline. Prater gets her own rebound. It's stripped away. Loose ball collected for Southern Nazarene by Monahan after the Adams deflection on the other end. The layup is good for Monahan and a foul on Julie Wagner. Wagner gets her second personal foul, and it'll be a three-point play opportunity for Southern Nazarene with eight minutes and 14 seconds to go in the third quarter, and the Crimson Storm leading 44 to 17. Monahan to the line in search of her eighth point of the night. Monahan had 21 points and four rebounds against Henderson State on Saturday. She had 15 points a week ago against Washita Baptist. She makes the free throw, completes the three-point play, and it's 45-17 Southern at Nazarene with just over eight minutes to go in the third quarter. Marsal with it at the top of the key. Maisa dribbles right, bounce pass into the post for Wagner. Spin move, shot up, good, and a foul. The foul on Georgia Adams is her first, and Julie Wagner to the line for one shot. Wagner with four points and eight rebounds on the night, and she will shoot one. Julie is a career 60% free throw shooter. Wagner appearing in her 70th game as a Golden Sun tonight, made her 31st start, came in with 233 career points, 240 career rebounds. She's had one or more blocked shots in five consecutive games coming into tonight. Seventh in the league in blocked shots at one per game. She completes the three-point play with the free throw. 7.51 to go in the third. And it is 45 to 20 Southern Nazarene. Prater goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Giles feeds Adams. Georgia Adams dribbles to the right elbow, passes out for Giles. Back to Adams. Adams dribbles left, down the left side of the lane. Pass deflected by Julie Wagner. Adams able to save the loose ball. Out to Giles, two to shoot. Giles tries to force it up, it does not draw iron. And Dana Thompson takes the loose ball for Arkansas Tech. Good defense that time. Thompson hands it off top of the key for Marsal. Maisa drives, defended by Giles, takes her to the left block. Giles cuts it off there. 
No look pass into the post for Dana Thompson. Turn around up and good. Dana Thompson has six points. Seven minutes and eight seconds to go in the third. And the Southern Nazarene lead is 45 to 22. Left side, Giddy. Hands it off to Reether. Reether dribbles right. Passes across to Monahan. Now Giddy makes a catch inside the top of the key. She dribbles left, passes on the wing for Reether. Three-pointer is no good. On the rebound, a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech's Alex Hill. Alex trying to get the box out. Instead, they say she pushed. Looked like, looked like both of them were hanging on to each other pretty good. It is Hill's first personal foul, team foul number two this quarter on the Golden Suns. Inbound pass, Emily Monahan. Monahan in left wing for Reether. Reether gives to Giddy at the left elbow, defended there by Wagner. Wants to back her down, Marsal digs down. Now Giddy has it poked away, able to save it. 10 on the timer, out to Georgia Adams. Adams drive, scoop shot no good, and Dana Thompson gets her fourth rebound of the night for Arkansas Tech. Marsal in transition. Cut off by Giles, throws it along the baseline for Wagner. Her 15-footer is no good. Out to Monahan on a long rebound. It leads to a fast break opportunity. Monahan misses the layup, but draws the foul on Alex Hill. Hill's second is the team's third, and it'll be two free throws for Emily Monahan, who is one out of one at the line tonight, and a career 63% shooter from the line. Monahan had 10 points and five rebounds when Southern Nazarene defeated Arkansas Tech 71 to 67 in Bethany earlier this season. First free throw up and good for Monahan. Monahan shooting 72% from the free throw line this season. Made her 87th start for Southern Nazarene tonight. She makes both free throws. Monahan. Now with 10 points on the night. It is the 15th time this year that Monahan has reached double figures in scoring. And she now has 978 career points, closing in on that 1,000 point plateau. Alex Hill with it at the top of the key, defended by Monahan, goes left. Help defender doesn't pick her up, but Alex misses the layup. Tip try good for Dana Thompson. Dana Thompson able to tip it in for Arkansas Tech. Dana's had a big third quarter. She has eight points in all. Six of those have come here in the third period. And with 5.41 to go in the quarter, it's 47 to 24 Southern Nazarene. Reether out to Giddy at the left elbow. Defended by Wagner, nine to shoot. Giddy backs her down. And a traveling violation on Hannah Giddy. Crimson Storm with its seventh turnover. The first turnover of the second half for Southern Nazarene. She had nowhere to go with it. Inbound pass to Maisa Marsal, and she'll bring it up for Arkansas Tech. Marsal guarded by Reether. Pass to the left wing for Prater. Prater goes left to the baseline. Bounce pass is saved by Dana Thompson. We've got a whistle and a foul against Arkansas Tech. They say Julie Wagner was guilty of a push as she and a Southern Nazarene player both going for that errant bounce pass, and they call Julie Wagner for the foul much to the chagrin of the Arkansas Tech student section. I agree seated with him. Just to our right. Julie was just going after the ball and Southern Nash player was uh, just in the wrong place, right? It's, it's the that, that's how we look at that one. It's the third foul on Wagner. <laughs> Not gonna change it. We near the midpoint of the third quarter. Southern Nazarene in control, 47 to 24. Pass to the right wing for Georgia Adams. Three pointer is way off. Rebound out of bounds to Arkansas Tech. And there's timeout on the floor. Four minutes and 55 seconds to go in the third quarter. Southern Nazarene 47, Arkansas Tech 24. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, it's a one minute break. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Burris at Into Market reminds you that the new year is like spring, a season of change. And if your office furniture hasn't changed in a while or you need a total office remodel, Into Market provides expert advice to give you inspiration, plus products ranging from quality sophisticated furniture to more economical products for the builder, homeowner, architect, or designer. Into Market is your local leader that offers professional furniture installation and delivery. Into Market, you'll make your office like new, plus more stores. 
Taking care of families. That's what the folks at CND Drugstore have been doing in historic downtown Russellville for more than six decades when it comes to all your pharmaceutical needs. When it comes to compounding special medicines, R.D. Walker and his staff are there to serve you. And most importantly, if you need delivery, if you need curbside pickup, you need CND Drugstore in the corner of B and Commerce in downtown Russellville, a 60 year tradition. I tell you what, old KD, Oklahoma Baptist is hanging pretty tough right now what, with they, nationally 10th ranked Harding. They uh, they came into Cersei ready to play. It's four minutes to go in the third quarter. It's Harding 37, Oklahoma Baptist 31. They're holding Harding to 35% shooting right now. They're shooting 39%. So good game. Here in Russellville, the Golden Suns have outscored Southern Nazarene 9-7 to so far in this third quarter, but the Crimson Storm leads overall 47-24. to Haley Wyrick is back in the game for the Golden Suns, along with Jackie Rollins, Marsal Thompson, and Wagner stay in the game. Wyrick with it at the free throw line, bounce pass ill-advised, stolen by Hannah Giddy. Outlet pass for Abby Giles. Numbers aren't there, so Southern Nazarene will stop and run a half-court set. Emily Monahan dribbles to the top of the key. Arkansas Tech in a man-to-man -man defense. Handoff Giles. Now Giddy gets it on the right wing. A whistle. And a foul against Arkansas Tech's Maisa Marsal for a hold. Maisa disagrees, but it is a personal foul on the Arkansas Tech point guard nonetheless. Marsal's third personal foul. That's team foul number five, and so Emily Monahan will shoot two free throws for the Crimson Storm. Monahan, three out of three from the line so far tonight. She has 10 points, five rebounds, two assists, make it 11 points. As the first free throw is good for Monahan, Southern Nazarene has made all five of its free throw tries tonight. Crimson Storm shoots 73.7% from the free throw line on the season, which ranks sixth. Among the 12 members of the GAC, Dana Thompson rebounds the miss on the second try. On the other end, Julie Wagner's layup is too strong, and Hannah Giddy has her eighth rebound of the ball game for Southern Nazarene. Four minutes to go in the third. Poked away by Marsal. She dives on the loose ball. She and Reether tie it up. The possession arrow favors the Crimson Storm, and they will throw it in with 17 on the shot clock. Inbound pass will be made from the near sideline by Abby Giles. Giles, Reether, Monahan, Adams, and Giddy, the starting five, are in the game for Southern Nazarene. And now some conversation about the shot clock. Looks like they will indeed leave it at 17. Top of the key, Giles gives right side for Giddy. Giddy. One dribble to her left, bounce pass for Reether, shot clock at seven. Reether gets a pick from Giddy, goes right, gives it out to Georgia Adams, fakes the pass, drives, 17-footer, no good. Defensive rebound by Jackie Rollins of Arkansas Tech. Rollins brings it over the timeline, goes to the baseline, cut off by Reether, throws it cross court to the right wing for Haley Wyrick. Wyrick penetrates, leans in, shot up, it is no good. Rebound, Southern Nazarene. Hannah Giddy gets the carom. And with 3.21 to go, Lauren Reether brings it up for Southern Nazarene. We're late in the third quarter. Crimson Storm leading 48 to 24. This third quarter has pretty well been a stalemate. Southern Nazarene is two of nine from the field this quarter. Arkansas Tech, four of 13. Giddy from the free throw line, drives, steps through a double team and lays it in. 12 points for Hannah Giddy. She is six of seven from the field. 252 remaining in the third and it's for it's now 50 to 24 southern nazarene shot up no good defensive rebound by georgia adams of southern nazarene it's not our shooting night is golden suns now nine of 46 from the field and hannah giddy with the answer on the other end 14 points for giddy and it's 52 24 southern nazarene fadeaway jumper marsal is short and the rebound is out of bounds to Southern Nazarene. Sarah Edmondson is in for the first time tonight for Arkansas Tech. Edmondson is a six-foot sophomore forward from Flower Mound, Texas. Edmondson averaging 1.6 points and four rebounds per game. Shelly Butler is back in for the Suns, so it's Edmondson, Butler, 
Jackie Rollins, Haley Wyrick, and Maisa Marsal as the Golden Suns go zone defensively. Giddy with it inside the top of the key, passes out left side for Reether. Lauren Reether dribbles right, passes on the wing for Giddy. Giddy fakes the shot, drives, throws it cross court, corner for Monahan, three pointer, in and out, no good. Shelly Butler with the defensive rebound for Arkansas Tech. Jackie Rollins goes to the right side of the floor. Left-handed scoop shot, draws a foul. It'll be two free throws for Jackie Rollins. The personal foul is assessed to Hannah Giddy. It is Giddy's third. And Jackie Rollins to the free throw line for Arkansas Tech. Jordan Rollins will check in, replacing Maisa Marsal. Jackie Rollins to the free throw line for the first time tonight. In for Southern Nazarene is Shannon Burton as Giddy gets a break. Rollins hasn't scored yet tonight, but she has two rebounds. First try for Jackie Rollins is good. Nothing but net for Jackie Rollins. Jackie now 10 of 13 from the free throw line this season. She did not play in the first meeting between these two teams. She was ill on that trip to Oklahoma Baptist and Southern Nazarene. Did not play in either of those games. She makes both free throws. Jackie Rollins gets her first two points of the game. Golden Suns remain perfect from the free throw line tonight, seven out of seven. And it is 52-26 Southern Nazarene with a minute 32 left in the third. Reether passes right side to Monahan. Monahan fakes the pass, drives, and walks with the basketball. Southern Nazarene's eighth turnover. And it'll be Jackie Rollins to bring it up for Arkansas Tech. Rollins appearing in her 43rd game as a Golden Sun. Clock, the shot clock is in error right now. They'll get that straightened out. Reminder to stay with us coming up at approximately 7.30 p.m. It'll be the men's contest between Arkansas Tech and Southern Nazarene as the Wonder Boys will attempt to hold on to at least a share of first place in the GAC men's basketball standings. Only eight games left in the regular season, including tonight. Pass left side for Jordan Rollins. She feeds the post for Butler. Butler double teamed, tried to give it to Sarah Edmondson, but Edmondson could not handle the basketball. And Carly Gassaway makes the steal for Southern Nazarene. Arkansas Tech with its ninth turnover, four of which have come here in the third quarter. Left side to Monahan, into the corner for Giles. Giles dribbles right, gives on the opposite wing for Reether. Out it goes to Gassaway, drive and a dish into the corner. Three point try is good for Emily Monahan. Monahan has 14 points. 36 seconds remaining in the third. Southern Nazarene leads 55 26. Pass is deflected by Abby Giles out of bounds. And the Golden Suns will maintain possession with 21 on the shot clock. Arkansas Tech has missed six of its last seven field goal attempts, including four in a row. Inbound out front for Haley Wyrick. Wyrick goes left, spin move at the elbow, lost the handle, stolen for Southern Nazarene by Abby Giles. Now the Crimson Storm will hold for the final shot of the third quarter with Southern Nazarene up by 29. And the Crimson Storm on its way to a 35th consecutive regular season win. Reether drive, layup up and good. 13 points for Reether. And our score after three quarters of play in Russellville is Southern Nazarene 57, Arkansas Tech 26. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Golden Suns Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. At Centennial Bank, we believe serving our community goes beyond assisting with financial needs. We pride ourselves on being community connected and customer -based. Supporting our community starts with our community. We enjoy rolling up our sleeves and helping make our community a better place. Our local bankers are a team that brings passion, pride, and dedication to our community. That is why Centennial Bank is proud to support the place we call it. Centennial Bank, member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Are you working hard to feed your family on a budget? Visit Chicken Mart to get all your Crispitos, pizza sticks, restaurant quality chicken nuggets, strips, wings, and fries all in one stop. And lots of opportunity purchases that are so good they may never come back. Check out Chicken Mart in two convenient locations.
sandwiches before you go grocery shopping and see what they have for your family. Chicken Mart's been serving the River Valley since 1983 and still going strong. Visit 1808 South Arkansas Avenue at 106 Rear Road in Russellville. Chicken Mart, your chicken and more store. Time for a GAC women's basketball scoreboard update, and here's Kelly. Well, at the end of the third, Harding had separation. It is Harding 44, Oklahoma Baptist 34. It is now Henderson State 53, Northwest Oklahoma 44. Washita 38, Southwest Oklahoma 34. Southern Arkansas 45. East Central, 36, and Southeast Oklahoma, 41, UA Monticello, 38. If you could hear, we've got a great crowd tonight. And they keep on coming in. If you are in the area, still about, I don't know, 45 minutes or so away from the tip-off of the men's game between Arkansas Tech and Southern Nazarene. So go to ArkansasTechSports.com slash tickets. Purchase your seat. You can show your idea your 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 code there at the door when you come in you can just show that they'll scan it you can walk right to your seat hand off to alex hill hill drives layup up and good for alex hill alex gets her first two points of the night 9 47 to go in the fourth and it's 57 28 southern nazarene bounce pass to the high post for shannon burton burton gives it to the top for reether reether goes left Picks up her dribble, throws it out to the top of the key for Carly Gassaway. Gassaway, a sophomore from Choctaw, Oklahoma, feeds Burton going to the basket, layup no good. And the defensive rebound is pulled down by Dana Thompson of Arkansas Tech. Dana with her seventh rebound of the night. Feed ahead for Alex Hill, layup up no good. It was blocked and rebounded by Abby Giles. And then a held ball is called, and the possession arrow favors Southern Nazarene. Golden Suns is working on Saturday now, just trying to point a pride right now to keep keep uh, playing tough in this game. And looking forward to Saturday's matchup. Giles will make the inbound pass, and it'll be Emily Monahan to bring it up for Southern Nazarene, and the Crimson Storm will turn its attention to that showdown with the Harding Lady Bisons, a top 10 matchup coming up Saturday afternoon at Rhodes Reeves Fieldhouse in Searcy, as it'll be nationally fifth-ranked Southern Nazarene and nationally 10th ranked Harding with first place in the GAC women's basketball standings probably on the line as it looks right now very much like Harding is going to win its game although it's only an 11 point contest with 739 to go and the basketball will belong to Southern Nazarene now basketball will belong to Southern Nazarene after a errant pass by the Golden Suns and Abby Giles will throw it in for Southern Nazarene. Eight minutes and 43 seconds to go. Crimson Storm leading 59-28. Southern Nazarene will improve to 21 and 0 overall, 15 and 0 in the Great American Conference. Reether for three, good. If they play like they do tonight, it's gonna be a well of a game on Cersei. Reether with 16 points. Prater loses the handle, stolen by Gassaway. And Southern Nazarene will go the other direction. No look pass intended for Burton through her fingertips and out of bounds. And the basketball will go back to the Golden Suns. Eight minutes and 14 seconds to go. Southern Nazarene leading 62-28. Bounce pass into the post for Wagner. Turnaround jumper up and good for Julie Wagner. Wagner with seven points and eight rebounds. We go under eight minutes to play. 59 to 30, or I should say uh, 62 to 30, Southern Nazarene. Dribbling right, Monahan gives in the corner for Giles. Cross court to Gassaway, jab step, defended by Dana Thompson, passes left side for Monahan. Monahan finds Reether cutting to the basket, gives it to her, layup good. Reether has 18 points, she is 8 of 14 from the floor. Southern Nazarene over 50% from the field this evening. Feed down low for Wagner. Throws it out right wing for Alex Hill. Fakes the three, drives, gets into the lane. Bank shot will not go. Defensive rebound by Emily Monahan. Monahan leads the fast break. Numbers aren't there. So she slows it down and gives to Reether. Reether has it taken away by Maisa Marsal. 
Marsal on the run out, gets to the basket. Left-handed layup, up and good. Maisa Marsal is into double figures in scoring for the sixth time this season. She has 10 points, and it's 64-32 Southern Nazarene. Well, I don't know if Coach May will do it, but <clears throat> I'd be pulling some players and getting them some rest. Three-point try, no good for Gassaway. Defensive rebound, Marsal. Southern Nazarene typically does not play very many players. They only go about seven, sometimes eight deep. If you get past Anna Kakoli, they really, the rest of their players very seldom get into the game. They're going to put Hannah Giddy back in with 6.35 to go, and wow, the game decided. Golden Suns, meanwhile, make wholesale changes as Jordan Rollins, Haley Wyrick, Shelly Butler, Elena Leho, and Jackie Rollins check in. Coach Wilbers is, has gotten all of his starters out of the game now as he's, he understands the score here tonight, and he's going to get his starters some rest to get ready for that game on Saturday against Oklahoma Baptist. Jordan Rollins, three-point try is out of bounds. Arkansas Tech now one out of 10 from three-point range tonight. The Golden Suns are 12 of 53 from the field overall. That's 23%. Handoff left wing for Monahan. Monahan gets to the free throw line. Monahan gets to the basket, layup no good. Giddy gets the offensive rebound. It's tied up by Jackie Rollins. And the possession arrow favors Arkansas Tech. Six minutes, 11 seconds to go. Nationally fifth-ranked Southern Nazarene, 64, Arkansas Tech, 32. Golden Suns will fall to 9 and 10 overall, 6 and 9 in the Great American Conference. Be the seventh loss in the last nine games for the Golden Suns, and it'll be the sixth time in their last nine games they've shot below 40% from the field. Shelly Butler fouled going to the basket. She'll shoot two free throws with 5.52 remaining. End of the game for Southern Nazarene is Jillian Crawford. She will replace Carly Gassaway. Crawford is a five foot 10 freshman guard from Piedmont, Oklahoma. Crawford averages one point and 0 0.8 rebounds per game. First free throw try for Shelly Butler is no good. Butler now 13 of 25, 52% from the free throw line this season. Second try is good. And it is 64-33, Southern Nazarene with 5.48 remaining. Reether gets it over the timeline. Bounce pass to the right side for Burton. Burton, bounce pass for Giddy. Giddy defended by Leho. That's one Oral Roberts transfer on another. Pass out in the corner. Three-pointer is no good for Reether. Defensive rebound by Jordan Rollins of Arkansas Tech. Rollins gets it ahead on the fast break for her sister Jackie. And Jackie Rollins going to the hoop, draws the foul on Shannon Burton. Burton's third, team foul number two this quarter on Southern Nazarene. And it'll be two shots for Jackie Rollins. Correction, that's four on Burton. I missed one on her earlier. Jackie Rollins to the free throw line where she is two out of two so far tonight. First try up and good. Arkansas Tech, nine out of 10 at the free throw line this evening. For the season, the Golden Suns shooting 67.4% from the line, which ranks 11th among the 12 members of the Great American Conference. Jackie Rollins gets them both. 64-35 Southern Naz with 5.17 to go. Don't go anywhere. The Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys in first place in the GAC men's basketball standings, tied for first with Southeastern Oklahoma State. We'll take on the Southern Nazarene men coming up at 7.30 p.m. Reether out to Monahan, three-pointer is good for Emily Monahan. Monahan's third three-pointer of the night. She has 17 points. And she creeps ever closer to 1,000 career points. Now 985 career points for Monahan. Above average chance she might get that on Saturday in Searcy. Turnaround jumper up and no good for Wyrick, but a whistle and a foul on Southern Nazarene that will take us to a timeout on the floor. Four minutes and 38 seconds remaining in Russellville. Southern Nazarene 67, Arkansas Tech 35. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute. This is Golden Suns basketball on the EAB Sports Network. I'm a teacher. 
Look at brother Stephen Berry on the spot with that station ID as we near the top of the 7 o'clock hour in the central time zone. Stephen Berry always plays to the final buzzer. I can guarantee that much. Was there ever a doubt? There never was a doubt. Haley Weirich makes the first of two free throws. She will have one more. Second try on its way. It is also good. Haley Weirich's first two points Haley of the night. Weirich. And it is 67 to 37 Southern Nazarene with four and a half minutes to go and coach Trent May is about to clear his bench. Which is gonna force me to go to a backup roster here. There's several players about to go into this game that there's very little record of this year. Maybe, I guess Coach May feels comfortable now with the lead. Turnover <laughs> Southern Nazarene into the game for the Crimson Storm. It is Umi Atsuka. Atsuka is a five foot five freshman guard from Tokyo, Japan. Otsuka is appearing in her 11th game of the year. She's only played 18 minutes all season. Also in is Kimberly Cook. Cook is a five five junior guard from Whitewater, Kansas. Anna Kokoli is back in. Kokoli, I should say. She deflects the pass, steals it, gets it ahead to Kimberly Cook. And Cook will circle around on the perimeter, defended by Jackie Rollins. Beat at the high post for Kakoli. Kakoli gives it right side for Cook. Cook goes left into the lane, layup up and good for Kimberly Cook. And Cook gets just her second field goal of the season. She's got four points on the year now. And it's 69 37, Southern Nazarene with 3.39 to go. Jackie Rollins lobs it out left side for Jordan Rollins, and Jordan is stepping on the far sideline and she receives that pass. It is the 14th turnover for Arkansas Tech. And the basketball belongs to Southern Nazarene with three and a half minutes remaining. Bounce pass to the high post for Kokoli. Kokoli gives it up for Osuka. Down low back to Kokoli. Her layup is no good, but she gets her own rebound. Follow try blocked out of bounds by Elena Leho. And Southern Nazarene will keep it. And if you are wearing green and gold right now, these final three minutes and 15 seconds cannot disappear quick enough. No, a little painful, isn't it? It's been a rough night at the office for the Golden Suns, primarily because of the fact they're facing one of the best teams in the country. And there's no doubt about it. Inbound pass by Otsuka. It goes out front for Jillian Crawford. Crawford drives by Leho, misses the layup. Kokoli with the, le the rebound and the follow try, no good. Leho got the rebound, but threw away the outlet pass. It was stolen by Kimberly Cook. And now Jillian Crawford will set their half court offense. Gives right side to Kokoli. Kokoli leaves it out front, three pointer on the way and good for Jillian Crawford. Crawford with her third three pointer of the season. Her first three points of tonight's game. And it is 72-37, Southern Nazarene. She's taken away from Jordan Rollins by Kimberly Cook. And the Crimson Storm will go the other way with 2.25 to go. It's the 35th consecutive regular season win for the Crimson Storm, and now they will return to the scene of their last regular season loss. Rhodes Reeves Fieldhouse in Searcy, 1 p.m. on Saturday. for that showdown with nationally 10th-ranked Harding. 
Lady Bisons are pulling away in Searcy tonight. They lead Oklahoma Baptist 57-44 with under three minutes to go. Drive by Kokely. And a foul on Arkansas Tech. End of the game momentarily for the Golden Suns. Will be Bree Bowden, a six foot three freshman center from Allen, Texas. And Allie Pollock, a six foot one freshman forward from Hot Springs. As Coach Dave Wilbers will make sure everybody gets a chance to play here tonight. Want some pizza, Kelly? No, I'm good. Okay. Bring about 14 of them beside us there. Okay, that's for the student section. That's good. They've earned that. Pass down low for Kokoli. Her layup is up. Rings the rim and comes out no good. Offensive rebound by Otsuka. Gives it in the lane for Kimberly Cook. Her runner is no good. The rebound results in a held ball. The possession arrow favors Southern Nazarene. And the Crimson Storm will throw it in from the baseline. One minute and 41 seconds to go. And then we can put this one behind us. At Northwest Oklahoma 58, Henderson State 58. That's a third place team. And Henderson's tied for fourth right now. That will help them if they can pull off the win. Ami Atsuka dribbles right, seven on the shot clock. Atsuka drives, shot rejected by Jackie Rollins, rebounded by Jackie Rollins. She pushes it the other way. Burton cuts her off. Cross court pass intended for Jordan Rollins was deflected by Otsuka, and then it got a piece of Jordan Rollins on the way out of bounds for Arkansas Tech's 16th turnover. Inbound pass to Otsuka. Bounce pass right side for Kokoli. Kokoli hands it off to Burton. Out front for Crawford. Crawford drives, gets her defender in the air. Throws it out front for Atsuka. Three-pointer is off to the right, no good. And the rebound will belong to Arkansas Tech. 55.6 seconds to go. When this one is over, we will have the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show. We will visit with Coach Dave Wilbers. Then we will have a very special guest as Kyle Shipp, the head football coach at Arkansas Tech, will join us for a between the games visit. And we will talk about the 43 young men who joined the Arkansas Tech football program on signing day yesterday. Crawford brings it over the timeline. Goes to the left wing. Out front for Kokoli. Now to Atsuka. Her jumper is up and good. Umi Atsuka from the right wing. And the Crimson Storm is doubling up the Golden Sun, 74-37. Drive by Jackie Rollins. Out to Jordan Rollins. She drives the baseline, lost the handle. Sarah Edmondson saves it. Can't hit the bank shot, but does draw the foul. And Sarah Edmondson will shoot two free throws with 11.7 seconds remaining. Edmondson awaits the basketball. Sarah so far this year is five out of eight at the free throw line. First try on its way and no good. She'll have one more. As Sarah seeks her first point of the night. The second free throw try is good. And that will likely set our final score. 74-38 Southern Nazarene. As Jillian Crawford gets it over the timeline, the final four seconds will elapse, and that's the ball game. Final score in Russellville, nationally fifth ranked Southern Nazarene 74, and Arkansas Tech 38. From the Alethus Realty broadcast position, we step aside for one minute and then come back for the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show. Golden Suns lose, Wonder Boys in 27 minutes. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Looking to expand without breaking the bank? Duval's Affordable Portable Buildings has been serving the River Valley for seven years and counting. Only $99 down delivers select Burnett Affordable Buildings at 20% off CNH carports for not only carports, but for bars, sheds, and more. Let Duval's Affordable Portable Buildings create the extra space you need without breaking the bank. Visit Duval's Affordable Portable Building.com or just stop by 4151 South Arkansas Avenue in Russell. And don't forget to ask about the $50 referral. 
A solid roof for your business is key to keeping your employees, products, and valuables dry and clean. If you're experiencing roof leaks that are resulting in damaged equipment, stained ceilings and walls, then don't let Mother Nature get the best of your business. The folks at ENF Roofing offer free commercial roof inspections, but their experience is priceless for your business. Not to lose productivity and extend the life of your roof. So contact ENF Roofing today for a free commercial inspection at 479 272 40 69. Back with you on the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show following the Southern Nazarene victory tonight. We're joined by Dave Wilbers, head coach of the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns. Coach, it's pretty simple. When Southern Nazarene comes out and plays like they did in the first half, there's only a handful of Division II teams in the country they are going to have a chance to compete with. Yeah, them. no doubt about it. I mean, it was just a, a bad combination of, of them shooting like over 60%. I don't know what they shot the first quarter. It's probably better than that. And we shoot 15%. I, I told the team at halftime I, I wasn't disappointed in the shots we were taking. We just weren't making any shots. And we were actually getting some offensive rebounds. We just couldn't get any putbacks, and they're very physical in the paint. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, one of those games that we weren't beating them tonight. And I, I think it's one of those things where that's definitely one of the ways that your team can take some heart going into Saturday, the fact that they are getting the shots they want. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the law of averages eventually works out that those shots are going to start going in again. Well. And it really has most of the year. We've shot the ball pretty good, you know, most of the year. But um, there was just a lot of shots in and out. But credit them, too. You know, their defense was physical, and they had a hand in our face the whole time and made it difficult for us. But, you know, I, I thought we did. We still fought the second half. We could have laid down and just, you know, did hardly anything. But we still came out and fought and um, just you know, need to get better here quick. All right, Coach, we'll see you on All Saturday. Right, thanks, Sam. That is Dave Wilbers, the head women's basketball coach at Arkansas Tech University following a 74-38 Southern Nazarene win tonight over the Arkansas Tech Golden Suns. Right now on the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show, we will step aside for two minutes, and when we come back, we will visit with Kyle Schiff, the head football coach at Arkansas Tech University, as National Signing Day was yesterday, and we will discuss the newest members of the Wonder Boys football program with head coach Kyle Schiff. That's in two minutes. Wonder Boys basketball in 24 minutes. From the Alathus Realty broadcast position, we step aside. This is Arkansas Tech Basketball on the EAB Sports Network. Feltner's Athletes Corner Sale is now in progress. Save up to 40% off selected athletic apparel by Nike, Asics, Brooks, New Balance, Keen, and Chaco. Save 40% or more on apparel from the North Face, Columbia, Patagonia, Mountain Khaki, Kavoo, Under Armour, Nike, and many more. Feltner's Athletes Corner, 2320 West Main Street in Russellville. Open 9.30 to 6, Monday through Saturday. All sales during this special savings event are final. Running a business, a household, or just everyday life can be hectic. The last thing you want to have to think about is banking. At First State Bank, we focus on providing you the financial tools and exceptional service you need so you can focus on what really matters, whether it's managing your business from the sidelines or making life run a little smoother with convenient and flexible financial solutions. We've got your back. Get back to business and life. We'll take care of the rest. First State Bank. At Liberty Car Wash in Russellville, you have options. You can wash your car yourself or drive through one of the automatic car washes. Liberty Car Wash also gives you the option of washing your fur baby. Why make a mess in your home and risk clogging your drains when you can wash Max at Liberty Car Wash? Visit Liberty Car Wash today on Knoxville Avenue and South Arkansas Avenue in Russellville, where you always have options. Miller Roofing Company, a family-owned company treating you like family. Who's a part of the Miller family of employees? This is k Metz. I answer the phones. I'm the front desk. And uh, when you come in, I'm the first person that will greet you. I will make sure that you get looked after. Our whole office, we, we are family. So that is what we try and encourage with our customers. Your friends at Miller Roofing. See them on South Arkansas at Russellville and follow them on Facebook. 
It is our privilege on the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show to have a very special guest, the head football coach at Arkansas Tech University, Kyle Ship, as the Wonder Boys football program yesterday added 43 new players to its roster, 33 from the high school ranks, and then 10 mid-year transfers joining the Wonder Boys program. Coach, first of all, congratulations on bringing in this class. You know, recruiting at its fundamental level is sales. As you were visiting with these young men, especially over the last few weeks, trying to close the sale with these 43 young men, what was kind of the core, what's the heart of the pitch that you're trying to sell them on Arkansas Tech Wonder Boys football and Arkansas Tech in general? Well, the first thing we sell is an education. Number one, they're coming here to do that. Um, and that's the one number one thing we always sell is, hey, this, is, this place is, is, is for your education, and that's why you're here. And, and the football is the avenue for that. Um, and then as we sell football-wise, it's not hard to sell our facilities. Um, it's not hard to sell this community uh, or this education that you get from this place. So the biggest thing trying to explain to them at the trajectory that we continue to go over the last couple of years and the right kind of people that we continue to bring into the program and, and how we've been doing things from the community service side, from the academic side, uh, all of that has uh, been a huge part of our success with this recruiting class. You know, we, we hear a lot about how recruiting has changed. You've been at this for a little while now. What are what are really the fundamentals of recruiting that have remained the same through all of the change that we've seen in college athletics? Well, the main thing is money. Um, <laughs> that's that's the big part of it all. Uh, but that you're still trying to find kids that fit you and your culture and, um, and, and your demographic of who the kind of kids you want. Um, and so as we're going through that, for me, the big thing is we're going to recruit Arkansas. Uh, and again, we signed the most kids out of state of Arkansas, I think for the third or fourth straight year, um, unlike other people like to claim, uh, we actually can show it year in and year out. And so, uh, you know, starting in our home state is always big and we will we'll always continue to do that as long as I'm here. And, uh, and it's finding the right kids that fit us and, um, and find the right kids that want to be here, get an education and make Arkansas Tech the best it can be on and off the field. Out of that group of 43, there'll be quite a few that will red shirt and get a chance to come in and work on their strength and conditioning. And, you know, hopefully then when they're fifth-year seniors, be grown men ready to go out and produce. There are some other guys who will probably be counted on more to be immediate producers. In that immediate producer category, what are some of the positions you were really looking at and how do you feel like you did? Well, you know, immediate producers, we're in a good position where I don't know how many freshmen will really play. Uh, I think we might have a D lineman or two. We might have an offensive lineman or two uh, from a depth side. Uh, we got some re some really good speed at receiver, um, and we got some DBs I think they are good. And we have a, a guy that's an alumni, Jacob Jenkins, who's, uh, whose dad played here and, and a whole family went to school here, who I think uh, might be one of the best linebackers in the state of Arkansas, in my opinion, who you never know might play as a freshman. But we had this new rule where you can play in three games and red shirt and so with a lot of these young men our plan is to play three games at red shirt and still have four years of eligibility like we did last year with so many young men and and also have seen that as a major retention deal is these kids when they come here last year if they got a little taste of it they got to put the jersey on and play in a game and they and then it'll it'll benefit them so much for going into next year they won't be so uh, nervous going into game one and know what it looks like and now they've seen it they've done it they've played in it um, and it gives them that, hey, going into this offseason, I know what I have to work towards because I got to play against Harding, who won a national championship. I know what it looks like. I know what the work got to look like. I know what we got to do. And so, uh, so far, man, this offseason has been awesome. I, 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 Sam, I'm beyond excited about this year and our kids and, uh, and our program and our coaches. And so uh, I'm excited about this class and what we're bringing in as people and, and as student athletes. Uh, out of the whole group, we only have a few that are not going to be on academic scholarship. Those few are very close to still be on academic scholarship here. And so bringing in the right type of people, right type of kids that will continue to improve our program on a daily basis and, um, and yearly basis too. Uh, but really, really excited about where we're going. Well, tell us now a little bit about spring practice and kind of what the calendar looks like for the Wonder Boys as you continue to prepare now for the 2024 season. So spring, we got obviously we're in weights right now. And we'll do that until about, well, the end of basketball season. Um, once the basketball's over with, we'll have Mr. Duke back and we'll get to get going. Um, we'll have about a week before spring break normally. And depending on how our basketball team does, right? Um, if we have it like that. But we go a week before spring break, spring break, come back, 
We'll go for about a week or so, then the, this thing called the eclipse is going to happen to us, right. which is, might put a little bit of damper into our spring. But uh, we'll be done probably around mid-April. But we have a new thing going on in Division Two where you can play someone else. First time this has ever happened besides COVID to where we can scrimmage someone else and we're in talks with some teams um, in Division Two. I'd love to be Division One. If that place in Conway, we'd, we'd make that happen. What I had in mind, yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, that's not a rule yet. But I do think that's going to happen in the future with Division Ones as well. Um, and so I've talked to some other Division Two programs, some good ones, about setting up a scrimmage practice type deal. Where we can get a lot, a lot of plays in, a lot of beneficial time with those young men, and then giving them an extra game before you ever play someone else. And that, that goes a long ways for your development of your team. And as we go through the spring and the summer, probably some of the details still to be finalized. But there's several great ways to be able to support Wonder Boys football. I'm sure you'll have the golf tournament coming Absolutely. up late in the spring. And then the summer camps throughout the summer, both for the high school age young men and also the youngsters. Some great opportunities to not only support Wonder Boys football, but also come out and have some fun and really engage with the program. Absolutely. And we'll even have for our, our spring game, we'll, we'll have that to where uh, we normally have a deal. We have a, a canned food drive for that. So if you want to come out, have to bring canned food. Last year we had, I think, 1,300 items of canned food or, or dry food to give back to the community. And that's something, again, big. But there's so many things. The golf tournament, I think, is going to be May 10th. I, I don't quote me on that, but I think that's right. The kids uh, kids camps and, and other prospect camps, O-line camps, um, any of those things. It's, we're always open to the public, and we want people there just like we want people at these basketball games that – as you see them filling up now. And so um, it seems like the community starting to come back out again. Now that COVID's finally gone out of here, I think. Yep. And um, I know next year for football season, um, it'll be packed. But um, for everyone that's, if you're not coming to these basketball games, they need to be out here and supporting these young men because they're, they're, they're playing really, really well and they need your support and, uh, and they're fun to watch. Be watching ArkansasTechSports.com for more details about all of those upcoming events for the Wonder Boys football program. Coach Ship, congratulations on your signing class of 43, including the most Arkansans of anybody in the state. And we'll look forward to spring practice, and we'll look forward even more to the beginning of the season in September. That's right. we got Oklahoma Baptist at home first game. It'll be a Thursday night. So if that place ain't packed and rocking, I won't be very upset, but I know it will be. That is Kyle Schiff, the head football coach at Arkansas Tech, here on the Health Plan Lady Post Game Show. We will step aside for two minutes and then come back to look at the final numbers from the women's game. Golden Suns lose Wonder Boys in 14 minutes. This is Arkansas Tech basketball on the EAB Sports Network. At Phil Ryan Auto Plex, it's a new day with endless possibilities. What better way to start than with a brand new Chevrolet or MCB? Our in-stock inventory is filled 